Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do um, an updated setup version on my personal size Filofax. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that I just bought a mini Filofax. And um, the Louis Vuitton, this is like equivalent to a personal size. So I just wanted to do a quick comparison um, because when I was looking for a mini and the pocket size, I wasn't sure exactly what the difference was. So if anyone's wondering, um, the mini's just a little bit smaller and it's actually really, really adorable. I'm just going to show you really quick. Um, I'm planning in it right now because I just think it's cute and I want to try to plan in it, but I'm not like seriously going to keep doing that, like planning and I really need my personal size for that. So I just thought I'd try it out, but I do want to use this for tracking things and appointments, stuff like that. So I can just keep it in my purse. Um, I haven't set it up yet really. Same with the Louis Vuitton. Um, I made some dividers, but I think I made them too big because they don't really flip that great. I mean, they, they, it's okay, but not as smooth as I'd like it to be, so. Still working on that, and then I do have my little mini pen in here, which I think is so cute. And I use this all the time, even in my um, original uh, personal size. Okay, so everything has changed in here. I think the only thing that's the same is probably my inserts. Um, so right away, when I open up, this is my little zebra pen, which... I absolutely love it. Writes really nice and thin. Um, I've got some paper clips here. I have my little Midori. This is for my passport Midori with some um, tabs in there. And then I've just got an envelope in the, that pocket. This is from Kate Spade. It just came with the inserts as like a, her little thank you card. And I laminated it and punched it because I think it's that green is just really pretty to me. And I just put some paper on the back and laminated it. And this is kind of just like my beginning dashboard, what I want to see when I open up. Um, this clip I actually got from Michael's, or I'm sorry, Hobby Lobby. Sorry if you can like hear that weird noise. That's like this squeaky chair I'm on. Um, but yeah, I got these at Michael's. I was looking on Etsy to try and find some kind of like cheapy clips just so I because I don't really need it there it's just kind of for decoration but I did find them at my or Hobby Lobby sorry so if you're looking for the skeleton binder clips that's where you can find them um, and then I did make all new dividers so I made some to go with like a blues and greens and then I made some pinks and corals so I have these in here right now and I'm using them and all this paper that I've laminated is from Michaels. Okay, so I've just got some notes here and then straight into my, um, this is the year at a glance, 2016 and 17 from Kate Spade. And then I've got some online orders, some YouTube notes. Um, for my summer class, I'm keeping track of all my grades right here. So I can kind of see how I'm doing and progressing. Some notes and then the to-do pages. And then I have a couple folders here which I made from the big three ring binder um, divider folders. I just cut them down to fit. And I've got sticky notes and then I've got a bunch of stickers from different shops. These are just the sampler stickers. And then some more smaller like little labels and then for my next divider we go into my um, monthly section or sorry my monthly and weekly now that they're together so this clip also from Michaels and here's my month right now um, I've just got a little pocket in here in case I need to stick any notes in there um, and then that is clipped to today so here is my week. Um, my decorations aren't the cutest this week. I'm just kind of playing around with how I want to decorate. I was going to do like a really clean, minimal type 
decorations, but I decided that I don't want to do that anymore. I'm, I bought a bunch of stickers, so I'm waiting on them in the mail. So once I get them, I can really start decorating. But as of now, it's pretty simple. And then I've got until August, or until September. And then my next divider. And then I just made this paper clip. It kind of bothers me. It's a silver paper clip, and then it has like gold embellishments. And that really bothers me, but I'm not gonna go looking for gold paper clips. It's not that big of a deal, but it does kind of bother me. But anyways, so this is this ribbon. I think it was maybe like 50 cents at Hobby Lobby, and all you could do is just tie it on there. Um, and then this is where I'm planning for my next semester. This is my week. Um, we found two pages vertical layout, which I was using. I haven't been using it lately, but I did have one blank week. And this is where I'm planning out my classes and my class schedule for next semester. I've got this cute little um, Martha Stewart page flag with a little pineapple on it. And then my next section is my finance section, which is totally different. <clears throat> Excuse me. I bought this at Michael's. And let me tell you, they actually have a lot of stuff for planners now, which they didn't have in the past. I mean, they had some stuff, but now it seems like they're selling a lot more planner stuff. So they had a bunch of, like, little books like this. They had, like, meal planning, um, the budget book, things to plan, to-do lists and like a ton of just like books that look like this and they are about personal size. They're a tad bit wider than a personal size but if you just cut them just a little bit on the side they fit perfectly and they're already punched and they have like the gold foil around the edges and these are just really kind of nice and I did want to try to get some new um, finance and budget sheets in my planner but I didn't want to purchase anything because I don't know exactly what I want to keep track of and how I want to do it so I just bought this to test it out and see if I like it and then I can go on Etsy and find um, some other shops that have inserts so it's just got these like kind of budget and savings trackers and then you can track your bills and then after that, it's got some budget information and 10 ways to save. And I mean, you can just use these pages for anything. You can use it for notes or whatever. So I just thought I'd get it because I needed some extra paper for my file effects. Oh, and they also have these spending trackers, just like a register so you can keep track of where your purchases or where your money goes. So I've got a few of those sheets in there. And then... The spending trackers and then with one of them I turned it into an income and tips um, because where I work I make mostly tips so um, it's kind of nice to be able to keep track of all the tips I make every night and then when I get paid in checks because I paid in checks and tips so um, I just really like to keep track of that. Otherwise, I never know how much I'm making and where my money goes. It just disappears. So, Then I've got my online order tracker. And then I've got a bunch of little pages from... I think it's Miss Wonderful. She has a blog. And I just printed a bunch of her little inserts, which are really, really cute and nice. And they're easy to print. Um, and then I've just got phone numbers, some addresses and information like that all clipped together here and then my little Yorkie clip which I still have I think I'm going to make a paper clip one though too and then my stickers got some extra paper and then I've got all my um, pouches and then these are the other um, dividers I made it took me probably an hour and a half to make all these dividers. So I made four green and blue, four of these like corally colors, and then I made three for my Louis Vuitton. 
and it's pretty easy. All you have to do is trace. I just traced the regular Filofax um, dividers and I only need about four tabs so I just move it down slightly instead of using, or I do like one, three, five, and whatever the other one is. Um, I think they come with like eight. So I've just got these that I've pre-made for when I want to switch. And then my um, folder in the back. And that's pretty much it. And one thing I do also want to mention, let me see if I can find one. Um, okay, so, sorry. And I made these dividers and they're kind of mix match. Like they don't go through the holes that great. So I probably need to like repunch them, but these sticky notes, these are from, I got these at Michael's too, and I love them because they're really small, and in a personal size that works really well because post-it notes are kind of big for these, it takes up like half a page. So these are really nice, got them at Michael's, and what I really love about these is that they're cute and like the Target dollar spot, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but like when you rip one off, the one behind it has the glue still left on it a little bit. So it's still kind of sticky and it sticks to my other pages. But these, when you peel them off, the glue is really nice and it's just like a fresh new sheet, just like a post-it. So I just thought I'd mention that and these are just really nice and they're good quality. So I think they're pretty cheap too. So yeah, I'm still waiting for a bunch of stickers in the mail, so I'm going to be doing a sticker haul video probably in the next like week or two, um, and then I'll be using them and I can kind of do another setup video and show you more decorations. So, and also I want to do a video on these two <clears throat> as soon as I set them up, so hopefully again in a week or two I can do some more videos for you guys. But anyways, thank you for watching, if you have any questions. Um, or things you want to see, just let me know below. Thanks. Bye.